Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of our broadcast square. Uh, it's once again me, Lost Geek, here together with... Checkmate. And uh, I've brought today here a game from our final game of the uh, Fight Club that happened this year. Uh, where together with my SBT colleagues, uh, I tried to get and in the end did get the... Uh, trophy and the big prize pool of 50 million as Woohoo! at least as, as i've heard from aksu i'm not fully <laughs> sure yet that i will actually get them paid out but we'll see um we had a we had a funny theme going here with our uh, username so if you see executive here that's me lost geek uh we all played corp decks with hollow man in them so we just took the four types and subtypes from, of hollow man and each of us got a smurf account with their name so uh sorry for that bit of confusion um, we also did an upgrade and now you, you can't actually see the runner hand, I hope. Uh, technical difficulties barring. Um, and yeah, with that I would say, uh, let's start looking at the lists. Yeah. Um, on one side we have an op list. Um, and we have already recorded an episode on op, so you can now... And this is very close to the idea that we uh, all also typically were building our op list in NWE, so you can see our change or my changes here on the general idea of a two kind of op list yeah so uh, is there anything that is uh that is uh, striking to your eye yeah first of all the the two new cards uh, from uh yes. what's it called again um, uh rebellion without rehearsal it's rebellion without rehearsal exactly uh, maybe I'm, i, I mean, can also zoom in here yeah that's yeah. like this so i think i first uh first i want to uh Maybe you can start with Hammer, maybe. But yeah, um, that's that's the one card where I was where I wasn't um, so sure if it if it belongs in the list. Um, but there are uh, actually there are actually four new cards in this list. Uh, some more obvious than others. Uh, I mean, there's Hollow there Man, is, of course. There's tri yes. Tributary, of course, and uh, Hollow Man, Tributary, and Hammer Descent. And ah, okay, yeah, yeah, Descent. Single yeah. copy of Descent. Um, to be honest. I have to admit I didn't have all that much time to prepare for any of this, so I took this list mainly untested, like played it once and decided it was enough. Mm -hmm. um, in the end, looking back at it, uh, Hammer does a good job, but it being a 6 cost, it loses a lot of its value once the runner installs a killer. And you would really love to be able to just extract it for 5 cost instead, and there is no card costing 5 in this list. Uh, I think I should have played a single copy of Envelopment just for that yep. case. <laughs> makes, um, makes, but, makes a lot of sense. But other than that, Hammer gives you another thing that the runner needs to respect. Uh, they can't just run with a Botulus uh, or an Audrey or something. And uh, especially like Mulch decks can't just run with Audrey because the treasure piece of hardware subroutine is really strong against them. No. Um, I mean, even yeah. trashing a resource if they don't have in, uh, their uh, console yes. installed yet is, is pretty pretty nice if you can snipe a um, cookbook or something. It's pretty exactly. Good. Um, on the other hand, I think the uh, there's another downside of playing Hammer because uh, with the inclusion of Hollow Man, the deck is a lot more um, credit hungry and yes. having a six cost ice on top of that, I, I think it's could be could be quite um quite a problem uh raising that ice because it was already kind of tight on on economy now hollow man yes. is more expensive than than calibration testing was so uh yeah, yeah I, I i can i, I, I can totally agree. see i fully agree on that yeah i can totally see just just cutting it even though it's 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 a nice include for sure I totally agree, although I would say that it's similar to Stavka, which also might be a negative point uh, to bring on here, but um, you only res it when it's really impactful. So you, you need to have those six credits, but you don't really expect to use your credits unless it really swings the game into your favor. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, the cost is not that much of a problem, but once again, like we also have Stavka in the deck, which you sometimes also don't want to res because you want to wait for a better spot, shuffle back your half rune and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, having two cards that you don't want to res in your deck uh, might be one too many. Um, yeah. But yeah, 
once again, if, if you want to play around with Hammer, I would definitely encourage you to, I don't know, cut an Ice Wall or a Sandstone or one of the barriers and just play an envelopment to be able to step down from 6 again and therefore not have your Econ investment just go into nothing once they install a killer. Yeah. Also, what you could do for, for sure is just exchange the Hammer for a second Staff Car since you're running half run, which might be a good choice anyway. And then you don't have to... Yeah pay six for an ice or pay five for an ice. Yeah. So that's 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 the other option I see. Also one thing that I'm uh, I'm I'm not sure about is the magnet over the thimble rig. Because I think yes. I would I would spend the thimble rig influence much rather than then you probably want the Enigma to have the three cost code gate. Yeah. So I thought about that. Uh but I decided that Descent as a two-cost code gate already kind of fights with the Timberick spot. And I really want to get an Huffer into this deck. So, uh, and I, I still think Magnet is important against like early Botulus that you can step down from a border control and get to Magnet, disable that Botulus and then gear check them that way, force them to find their Simul chip, their whatever, to be able to interact with you again. Um, so... In that sense, I kind of I, I wanted the magnet, and I decided that I'd think, rather not have the thimble rig and think about my ice placement more than usual, and hope I that think, that goes fine. But I I think I do agree. I think the the main thing is that magnet is only in specific matchup it, it shines, but yes. um, tr uh, thimble rig is always good, especially with border control. Yeah. Just having a, a, a second copy of border control where you want it is yeah. it's just just so strong, and I think I also would would then cut the Hortum. So then you can yeah. like, chop down on some more um uh like credit high credit cost ice. If you go Hortum to Enigma, Magnet to Thimblewick, you you cut down two credits uh total. Yeah. So I would really like that. Um but we yeah, didn't talk I think about the biggest options. biggest card in the deck. My, my <laughs> uh, in my mind tributary is the is the biggest card yes. in the deck. I mean Hollow Man is nice, but tributary is so good in op. First of all, you can fetch it yeah. with, with border control, which is super nice. Yeah. And second of all, it helps you to build your board. It's it's so incredible exactly. if, if they uh, if they can't break it in the early game and you can draw cards, install your eyes where you um where you usually have to spend clicks for it. It's it's just amazing. Exactly. It is, it is such a strong card, and especially in op where you can just pay the three influence once and be sure to have it be relevant in every single game that you want it to be in, yeah. technically. Uh, yeah. It's just a big, big uh, card in general. And also, three of our four cop decks played tributary, I think, so uh, <laughs> we also agree that this is not only good in op, but pretty much good everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um... um Interestingly enough, uh, tri I, I see Tributary even as so strong that we saw many runners just run on the Tributary server, have it ha fire its on encounter, or like on the first time each turn run begins uh, uh, trigger, and then jack out afterwards and run yeah. the server that they actually want to run. So it is yeah. kind of like three credits, take away a click, which is a huge effect. Draw, draw a card, install an ice. Yes. <laughs> <But> like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, often they had it like a Botulus or something on it so that... That okay, it can break wasn't the first of necessarily yes. firing, but like, yeah, exactly. It is. It is still like a huge effect for just three credits. Uh, yeah. I think many decks are really happy to have this. Oh. And finally, descent was just like I want to see what it does. I still mm -hmm. didn't see what it does, so uh, it might get you out of some hard spots, similar to how you could fetch a drudge work from a virus and shuffle back agendas. But it's generally not something that you want to do. In this case, it's also an end to run. Cold Cave, which is something that is nice. So, I don't know. I, I can still see that the deck might want one of these, mm -hmm. but I haven't run into the case yet where I was really happy to have this. I think I think the main thing that is good about it, about the ability, um, uh, so to speak, is that you can make your uh, Audacity scores a little bit better if you get exactly. uh, Agenda Flooded in the wrong turn. Then you can yeah. just shuffle back the agendas that you don't want, and then you can still Audacity. But you can't do it in the same turn, so it's... It's a little bit uh, awkward but, in that like, regard. Like the Happy Christmas Land is just like fetching a descent by scoring an Azif and audacity away the agendas to the next turn, take it onto your hand and shuffle them back. Okay, uh, <laughs> and they can't get through the one strength code gate. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of stars need to align, but still, like maybe. Yeah, um, yeah and finally, the Hollow Man is a big new fast 
and never advance card kind of. Yeah, it's, it's um, I think it's very yeah. interesting that it's that it's two cost instead of three cost now. Yes, and that you can you can fetch it with my virus instead of border control now. Yeah. Um, Although it now fights with Tukana for the two cost slot of things that you want to fetch before scoring. It's true, uh, for sure. But I think it it still works fine because um, uh, I don't know. Um, I feel I feel that 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 you have most of the time you you don't. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's that's wrong, but maybe um, maybe you you still have to decide if you if you want to get the like big scoring uh, window yeah. uh, with Holoman that you would, that, that then maybe even score an Atlas with a token or yeah. score an Azev with a click remaining or something like that or or the Tukana trigger. But I, I I feel that you that you might even be able to get both into the remote. I mean, easily. what Holoman can also do for you is to get you an Atlas with two tokens, and I think yeah. that's where it becomes really, really strong. You just, like, in the opponent's turn, fetch the Holoman with Mavirus, put it on top of an Atlas that is on the board, mm. and then just go from there. And I think uh, that can be a really... Or, like, even click on the Holoman, then install a Tukana on there, and then advance it once to get one mm-hmm. token, but also Tukana trigger. Like, there are a lot of options that you can have here. Uh, and I and I think the card is really strong in this deck. Um, maybe a bit stronger in other decks, but still, I think it does a really good job at what also calibration testing was doing for us. For sure, for sure. And yeah, I would say with that, the rest is still still the similar archetype. Um, let's get to the runner, and also the reason why uh, um, uh, Hafrun and Stavka is still. A good choice and also like one of the choices that i made specifically for this tournament because i knew that like these kind of turbine rigs can exist mm-hmm. yeah and yeah this is i would say your run of the mill lad with some new cards in it but like the icebreaker and program suit is still the same and this is the one that i want to target with the stavka half room combo to make them slow down and respect what i maybe can do if i have drawn the right cards <laughs> yeah um and yeah so is Any... this is this similar to the um, to the Hermes decks out of out of Dao? Or I think you, so. You... Although Dao can also do a lot more with the Hermes and <laughs> just True. swapping and then taking away a piece of ice. I think that's like a fundamentally different sort of effect. Mm. But I also saw like lat lists that were on Hermes and mm-hmm. were doing similar things. So um, yeah, I, I think. Um, it is just your regular like Hermes Shaper, which I would kind of see as its own archetype, where they want to control the game not necessarily by having a s- the strongest late game, but also like making your middle uh, mid game slower so that they can deploy your dead late game. Mm. There are some interesting choices in this list for sure. I think my yes. my first the first thing I saw um, right now is that they play three environmental testing, which is not very used, uh, not, yeah. not very usual in in LAD. More more used in in R uh, Arisana. It's also interesting that is done with quote unquote only ten programs and six hardware, which is yeah. not all that many. But yeah. again, very, it, very when interesting. It, when it in pays the out, reasoning. it pays out. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Um, I think also the the other card that I we'll also see in the game i was not respecting enough as i should have i think is burner which is a strong piece of hq pressure that for sure. uh, shapers have gotten yeah for sure and also interesting playing only one nuka yes uh... <laughs> i think i i heard soccer talk about this that diesel is kind of the better nuka if you think about it Clicking the uh, like playing a diesel and drawing two cards gives you five cards. Installing Nuka and clicking her twice gives you six cards, and you paid one credit for it instead of zero. So, like if you if you if you look at it that way, and then I can see the diesel over Nuka, but I kind of still feel that getting two burst draws is still something that is pretty valuable, and I'm uh, not, not only sure that- I like it. Not yeah. only that, I think the the main reason why Nuka is good is that you can offload the click beforehand, so you can exactly you know, when you need the cards you can burst draw, and that's that's very very different from Diesel where you have to keep the card in hand until you exactly. play it, and especially against net damage, it's very good to just put it down and then be yeah. able to draw when you need to draw, especially when they force you to 
steal something against some damage and you just go yep. like, okay, I've got eight cards in hand, I can do this. I mean, um, we, we, we did uh, cover our fair share of restoring humanity <laughs> games. <laughs> when Nuka, when Nuka was very, very strong and Diesel yeah. wouldn't, been, wouldn't have been as strong, even though it would have been still good, yeah. for sure. And finally, I would say like, kind of only a single copy of a Wincon in this deck of a single copy of Cataloga. Yeah. Um, the rest of the deck is just like controlled cards. Burner can also sometimes just get you an agenda by just running R&D afterwards. But still, like, can kind you? of the only real Wincon card is the one copy of Cataloga. But you can you can Burner, and then they shuffle they sh they shuffle away the card with Burner, right? Uh, no, they put it on top or bottom, and you decide. Ah, okay, okay. But you can also just leave the agenda in hand and run HQ again, right? That's also possible. Yeah, I, I guess if they got. Like but the, you, you're you're adding two cards from HQ to R and D, so they would need to be on like three cards for it to be really strong, because then you can ensure you have to get the agenda. I so, mean, even if if, if you yeah. if you ensure the fifty fifty, sometimes I mean yeah, on R and D it's yeah, probably yeah. exactly that. It is definitely a strong card, both if you can fetch the agenda from R and D or if you can if you have it, such an open HQ because mm -hmm. against Shaper they typically are icing R and D, especially if you know your own cataloger. Uh, so yeah, one it's thing that also. That also comes to my mind is do do you as the runner choose the order uh, and where the cards go? Like yes. if, you, if if you have yeah. like one agenda, one non agenda, can you put the agenda on top or can exactly. you put one card the, like the, the the operation or whatever on the bottom you and can, the agenda you, on top? Okay, you, you can, can put the oppo on bottom and the Bologna on top and go steal it with impunity. Yes. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. And then get hit by the other oppo in hand. If you didn't <laughs> <see>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, yeah, I think this is a really strong deck. Um, pretty much your run-of-the-mill shaper list that is just doing good things in general. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I would say with that, let's go to the game and see what <laughs> what I did. And uh, as I know, uh, like I, I'm sure that there are some questionable choices in this game because I already was, like, not sure about them during the game. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would really love to hear your opinion on some of the lines right. that I chose in the end. So, Let's... Start, starting with the first choice, would you keep this? Yes, of course. 100%. Yeah. yeah. What does your first turn look like, if you do? I think I start with uh, Spin Doctor and draw. And if I don't draw any ice, I'm go going to do uh, Rashida and protect it with Tributary. This is not Tributary, this is a half run. Oh, this half run. Oh, I saw it. I, th I thought it was Tributary. Okay, no. if it's half run, that's different. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe it still still applies because half run is at least an end run. So, yeah. Well, I I, I thought it was Tributary, and then it would have been. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, early early Tributary is just a good thing, but. Uh, but I mean, early yeah. early Rashida is still good, and maybe I'm not, I'm not going for for the spin doctor then. Mm. I can show you what I did. <laughs> let's 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 see what you, what you did. Uh, because I was thinking similar things, but I didn't. I, I don't like to rest half run. Half run is a bad piece of ice because like two separate breakers can be used against it. So like gear checking your way into Rashida becomes that much more unlikely. Against Shaper, it is already kind of difficult, but it gets harder. And I think so, it, I think against Shaper doesn't matter really because they have SMC, and most of yeah. the time, if if you put a put a put an ice down, doesn't matter what sub uh, subtype it is. Um, uh, only if you have two ice uh, with different subtypes, it actually really matters. That's what yeah, I was maybe. thinking. And also, what you can do is if you if you have to res it, you can extract it afterwards and shuffle it back, which you really want to do yeah. because you don't want to have it in hand. So getting some use out of it, I think, is, is kind of nice. Yeah. And you, even, did, yeah. Yeah, wow, you can't really with half run, you can't really do the you know, like treasure card before because they can SMC afterwards. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that doesn't work. Um. I, I thought that the half rune didn't do enough, but may, maybe I'm wrong on this. But I, I, I decided to treat half rune as a somewhat not usable ice in this moment in time. Mm -hmm. And decided to go with like kind of a probably a too fancy move of going for the regolith and fetching an ice wall with it. Aha. Uh -huh. And why didn't you click it once? I, I okay, I see, I see. Uh, 
And then he's still like pushed for Rashida. <laughs> oh, this is you gave up a little bit too much for my for my taste. Yeah, es I, I kind of especially I, especially now you. Uh, what are you gonna do with the saffron in your hand? It's just that just is a, a dead good. card. <laughs> that is the like. I, I think looking at it now, I see that Tahafrun is worth more than I thought back in the game. I, I think I'm also like a, a bit preconditioned by always drawing the Tahafrun and then trying mm -hmm. to shuffle it back. So I'm not really considering the applications mm -hmm. of it because it pretty much all, always gets relevant when the runner already has a breaker. But, so maybe I was like too much on that line of thought. Mm -hmm. But I still, I still felt that if the runner managed to get in here, that typically means they have used an SMC, they've paid some money to install... Uh, their cleaver and get into here trash this they need to have a all of these cards in hand and b use all of their um tools kind of to get into a situation where they can break this and then i know that barriers do not work for me to to, to gear check them and then i can go for like <laughs> other card types um and so like it gives me it, it gives me the opportunity of getting lucky and them not having this or if they do, I know exactly what their bot state is looking like. They are probably in a like difficult economic situation because they used all of the burst economy to get to this Rashida. And so I can play the game from there. That was my line of thinking. And I felt that I either get Rashida off or I get the spin doctor in my hand. It's unlikely that I'm, I'm losing both of them. And so I'm still kind of fine in the way of finding options to get into the game. Yeah. But I think you give you you, you yourself um, basically did the same that you that you said you, the runner has to do. You gave up a lot of your like potential on your cards by spending a regolith without getting any money from it and spending a an extract that you could have used later um, without gaining that much and also revealing the ice wall. Like now they yeah. know what what they need to get in. If you just put down an, uh, a half rune and they don't know uh, what they have to get in, I think it's just, just fair. More although, sh although without drafter, I think the runner doesn't really care about any of my sentries, and so they already knew that it was likely they were dealing with a barrier or a code gate. And typically, a shaper does SMC things and then gets in. But yeah, I I, I do agree that I, I'm I'm giving up information. Mm -hmm. But like I I was comparing the end result here. It is as if I played Hedge Fund, installed Rashida, and got an Ice Wall for free. <laughs> so it's kind of a usual turn one. I just used a few resources that Op typically can use, mm. maybe better mm -hmm. in some other cases. But yeah. I, I was still fine with like the value that I got out of the turn that I did. So I felt decent yeah. about this. One one more thing about about the the gear check uh, because I think the one thing uh, that is that is very good for Op. Um, to res early, even though they can get through, is if, if you have a border control there. And now you're yes. showing that you don't have a border control there. Uh, so that, that might might also be a thing to... It's not like the face check is bad, but having a res border control is bad for the runner. That is very true. Anyhow, uh, we continue into this turn of the runner. Runner plays a gamble. Excuse me for the noises in front of my house. Uh, <laughs> draws a card... Place another gamble. Installs an SMC. So, the play worked out, like, kind of. <laughs> it, it did work out for me. Like I, I, I got my build yourself a mulligan that I uh, went out to do here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Like the, the runner could have played the two gambles and got in and trashed the Rashida if they really wanted to. And um, maybe, maybe they found the SMC on the draw or the or the gamble on the draw. I don't know something. Something. Yeah, that might also be true. So yeah, in any case, <laughs> I was pretty happy <laughs> with how all of this turned out. Yeah. So uh, let's see what this Rashida draws us. Also, they get a lead trigger, which I guess is hard to avoid in the first turn. Oh, maybe maybe that was the reason why they didn't contest because they wanted to get the lead, lead trigger. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's also often often lead gets you into those weird positions where you. Are doing something for the draw but giving up something else in any case we actually draw into some ice we draw into uh, agendas um yeah any any thoughts at this point 
my my first thought is that I would really like to score the Azef protocol with a rest ice yes. wall on the table. Um, question is, do I want to audacity it or do I want to put it in the server? If I want to put it in the server, I want to put a code gate in front, so the Hortum probably. So then the yeah. turn would probably look like install SF into the remote, Hortum in front, and then Sandstone either on HQ or on D is yes. what I'm thinking. And then... Um, yeah, the other option is to just uh, may maybe even put the Spin Doctor in the remote and then install ice on some centrals and then wait for the next turn to fast advance the um, the other. Left. But I think I'm 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 liking the the score in the remote play a little bit better. Yeah, I think I agree now. I hope that I agreed back then, but I think I did. So Hortum goes on the remote. Azef goes on the remote. Sandstone protects the Atlas and HQ. I like it. I also, also burner. Yeah. You don't want to get hit, hit by burner now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Although I can still get hit by burner because they have an SMC and this is only a sandstorm, but still, please. It's expensive. It's very trouble. expensive. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's expensive. It's okay. Um, I also have no idea how to think about the cataloger option. Like, is an open R and D bad for me? <laughs> I I don't have enough experience with the card yet to know whether I need to respect a one off cataloger in my opponent's deck. Or whether this is fine, leaving R&D open? I think it's fine. Yeah. So, in any case, Runner sees this, plays a diesel. Okay. Looks at the top of R&D. Finds a Tukana Tukana. and trashes it. Kind of sad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Another gamble. gamble. All, all the gambles. All the gambles, all the sureness. Yeah. And finally, they need to still get rid of a card. They do. Ooh. And find the, I... one, find the one off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nuka. Find all of the good cards, all of the gambles, all of the diesels, all of Nuka. So, I, I mean, not all of the diesels, but still enough of the diesels to really be good in getting into their deck. Mm -hmm. But in any case, what, what I do get in exchange is an SF and I, unless I do something really weird here I think I just score the thing <laughs> yeah I think I, I would also I, score get a get a spin doctor probably or could also get a Rashida if you want to maybe Rashida is better because you don't have to discard I am hmm. I'm pretty sure I fetched the spin doctor here but now I'm thinking I mean it's it's fine okay. you, you, you want to get rid of the half run so you can discard so I, I, exactly. I like the spin doctor. I, I, I think the idea was that I want to discard the half rune and I will find something else to discard probably. Um and but I'm also I'm feeling that a single Hortum is not enough to protect Rashida at this point. Mm -hmm. They got fifteen credits, they got a SMC, they are probably likely to use it to get rid of my Rashida options, so I kinda felt that the remote is not safe at this point. It's not safe, but it's still. What's what is their code gate breaker? They have uh, yeah, Buzzsaw, actually. So yeah, they need it's, to pump one. So it's four to break, four to install. Oops. That's ten credits yeah. down the drain. It's not not too bad for Rashida like the exchange, but still, I, I I agree. You can you can get rid of some cards, but it's interesting what you discard now. I mean, you discard the half run for sure, but what is the second yes. card that you discard? And I my first thought was you don't need two atlases and you can shuffle one of those back in. But if you do that, then you can't shuffle back in the Tukana or any of the other cards because then yeah. it's locked in on 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 those two cards that you discard. And but this I, is one of the weaknesses of my initial start with the regolith because I don't I only have one copy of regolith, so I uh, would like to shuffle it back now. Yeah. I think I could also see discarding the hammer because it's very expensive and then just keep yeah. the, the agendas in hand and then shuffle but, but back the regulars or, or, or the Tukana or something. I think I agree with you and I think I even agreed with you back then, but hammer was new and shiny and I kind of felt <laughs> that it does something. <laughs> I totally understand that. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, I, I did just got a half run in the Atlas. <laughs> uh, sh shiny new toys, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I, I, felt, I, I felt that forcing them to install the Echelon at any point would be pretty strong. Like, if I, in, if I res this and mm -hmm. it fires, 
I get to trash the SMC, so they probably use the SMC to fetch something that they don't need at this moment. And then I get to trash probably a new car or a daily car or something. Like, I felt the subroutines were giving me enough that I would even consider resing it now if I have a bit more credits. I, but isn't isn't uh, Winchester doing oh, almost the same? It is, but I kind of want it on HQ and HQ already has something. I don't know. Yeah, um, I can see it. It's 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 fine. I think I think it's mainly the shiny new toy that you want to try out. And yeah, I it get, is. I it is that. like the shiny new toy. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Also, let also let has a link, so Winchester is not as good as it might be. Yeah. Otherwise, but still, it's probably still correct to discard the hammer and just say that it's too expensive. No. Any case, Rana draws a lot of cards. Okay, the spin goes doctor. To contest the spin. I shuffle back. The unseen oh, I didn't cards. See what I has... back, but I, no, I, the, it's it's I, I did shuffle back. Cards. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. They go they, fishing in R and D. They found they found the, the atlas that that you shuffled back in. <laughs> if you shuffled back in and, the hammer, they would have seen the hammer. <laughs> and we, we, exactly. <laughs> and we were in voice here, and they, he, he was like, "It would be funny if I access the atlas that you shuffled back." I was like, "Yeah, that would be very funny." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is in any it case, is. Uh, it is what it is. It is what random access and R&D give you sometimes. And yeah, there's daily cast. And I really wish this wasn't about law. <laughs> the Atlas, yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. I kind of feel that if this wasn't about law, I would definitely score this uh, and get rid of the other cards in my hand yeah. because shooting this daily cast is really, really good. No, doesn't doesn't seem like it right now because they have twelve credits. But those twelve credits are very valuable yeah. because they don't have their breaker yeah. suit yet. Exactly, there's like ten credits that are gone already just to install a code gate breaker and a and a barrier breaker. Yeah. So this is kind of only two credits in their credit pool. Yeah, but Ooh, always nice to see <laughs> more new toys. Yeah. Um, I don't actually remember what I did here. Uh, do you, want, I, do you I, want to have my opinion, yeah. what I would do? Yeah, but I, I I guess I'm leading with my opinion right now, and then we'll see what yeah. I also did this back then. I think I would go for the Spin Doctor here and get more options, because I really yeah. want some economy, and then go from there. Agreed. It's also what I would have done. Oh, and Lad draws a card. Oh, so, yeah. Past it is what I did. Agrees. And past me sees the Movirus and Nostile. Movirus is nice. Question is where where do you put it? I think I think my two remaining clicks are install tributary and install Movirus. And I think yes. <laughs> I don't know I don't know if I would have put Movirus in the remote because I, I don't know if I want them to run the remote, but it's probably the best server. We have Sandstone on HQ. Exactly. And now we have tributary on R and D. Maybe I would have put it on R and D because I like. Mm. I would have liked to run the tributary into the tributary. That is, that is interesting. Like even if you probably force a remote run, but you don't force an R and D run necessarily with the virus there. Yeah, because I think what I, what I what I will do is shuffle back the the uh, regolith and, uh, and and get it with the virus because we need money. Yeah, fair. Fair, fair, fair. And I don't want them... Okay. If, 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 if if they run the remote, I can't put the regulars there because they can trash it. That makes sense. Interesting. I, I, I thought it was worth something to pull them through remote. Yeah. So making, making this look like a Rashida or something, I felt was also worth something. Yeah. Because once you install an upgrade in RMD, it is a virus. It is known to be... I guess now we have Holoman, but still... <laughs> what, what, when Most did, likely, when, it's a virus. <laughs> when does Halloman move the ser- uh, uh, to another server at the <laughs> beginning of turn? Right. You would think that I know my own cards, but <laughs> I th- I think uh, at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it is the it is the other way around. Yeah, so, so you can you can put the, yeah. put the Holloman uh, anywhere and then move it to the yes. server where you want it at the start of the turn. Yes. So it doesn't yeah. matter where you put the Holloman. Yeah, so I guess now an upgrade on Centrus could also be Holloman. And, and even if if they know you have a virus uh, on, uh, on a Central, 
what are, are they going to do about it? It's it's not not like yeah. I mean, you don't you lose the value of 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 bluffing something in the remote, but the question becomes: Do you want them to to contest them, yeah. or, or, or do yeah. you not want them to contest the remote? That's I a think, good question. I think I, I think I didn't I didn't consider. I, I think I am considering pulling the runner through the remote pretty highly, and so I didn't mm-hmm. even take the time to consider any other option. But I think I agree. I think like pulling them through a Hortum is not worth all that much. It's okay. I don't think that's it is that's fine. a bad thing. Against it, it it's okay, but like it, yeah. I think they can I, they can even I mean what what are you going to do with the virus if they actually uh, contest? I think that that's also a question that you have to ask yourself. If if they go for yeah. the remote you rest the Hortum, they get yeah. um the bus saw and break it. What are you going to do with the virus? And I think there's no real good option uh yeah. for you then. Because they, ha- I think they have enough money to trash the regulars if you put it in the remote because of daily cast. Yeah, let's let's turn the hypothetical into a real situation yeah. because that is exactly what's happening in this game. And they even have like the turbine oh, and the overclock. To that go makes with it, it so worse. Like... That makes it worse. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it makes it a lot worse. And you now look at this and go like, um, <clears throat> okay, no, <laughs> I didn't even rest it. Why did I rest it? Wait. I think you shouldn't have, right? Because now you give them, give them information, and they can use the uh, the credits for something. I guess I was I, I was thinking something like I've got a lot of barriers in my deck, and making them use the SMC for a code gate might open up some windows, and mm-hmm. I can still turn this into a sandstone later on and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. yeah, I, I'm not agreeing with this res at this point. <laughs> nah, no, I I don't I don't see it anymore. I did. I did think about this back then. I think for some while, but no, I don't. I don't think I agree with it anymore. And yeah, now you now you see how the virus is awkward, right? Because yes, what are, what are you going to do with it, it? It definitely turned out to be because like I can't rest and fetch. I don't know a hollow man to put on the central. They've got a click left, so they go and yeah. trash it. Um, yeah, and you, it is just and you are you are way too low on credits to be using the hollow man. So exactly, no need so. The only thing that, that you can do is just let it go. Exactly. And that's what I do. And for the final click, they decide to contest the Spin Doctor. And I think this was a real decision. I definitely put back the Extract. I think I would have le- I let him trash it. There's, I mean, Extract is oh. the one card. I think I would have let him trash it. Play on four credits. Good point. I think I did. I did. <laughs> I did. Well played. I, I, did. <laughs> I did learn this from you back then, but I forgot it until now, it seems. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, it definitely was the, the thing that we talked about in the last episode where yeah. you want your third spin doctor to shuffle back, the fourth spin doctor yeah. back to the deck. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's not um, like not now that you lost the, um, the virus. Mm. There's yeah. no real need to shuffle back the regulars. Also, you don't have a have a server for the regulars right now. So there's there's no yeah. the, the only card that you really value, I would say, is the extract, and it's not even that valuable. Yeah, since you all already have two left in the deck and other economy yeah. options, so I would say it's better to have the option of of um, so, ooh, good good old magnet. <laughs> good old <laughs> magnet li- looks a little stupid right now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can like make them spend the click to put the hush back onto the tributary after. <laughs> well, yeah, um, no, it doesn't do much. Um, what do you do here? And this is something that I would be really interested in because I, I was thinking about. Should I say what, what, I, what I'm thinking are. before you say? Or <laughs> yeah, go yeah. go ahead, go ahead. I think my first idea is um, scoring the hostile, even though it's. It hurts. You don't want to be on yeah. on three point with a with a bad publicity, especially with yeah. with some rig already up. But you kind of need the money, yeah. um, and you also don't have any any upgrades to go like no Tokana, uh, so that's yeah. also bad thing. But you don't really have any other options, right? There, you need you really need money. So I think. And and they are pretty low on money, so it's unlikely that they they can put down another breaker. So your centers are pretty safe. So yeah. I would say I would say you need just need money, and I score the hostel here. I agree, and this is what I did. But I will pull up the runner list for some more reasons why I should score this. They're playing two Hermes, so 
Yeah. The hostile will become actively bad later on once they find the Hermes. Yeah. Yeah. And also, um, they don't play Clot. Mm. Which means that getting myself to three points means that scoring, like fast advancing two more agendas wins me the game. Mm. Yeah. And that might be a reasonable option. I've got two audacities. I could shuffle back mm. this audacity. So I thought that one of the options how I win this game is by just fast advancing out the rest and just saying that, yeah, okay, you can have all the runs that you want. I will not use the scoring remote anymore. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think also, I, oh, you, can, yeah. you can extract the, the um, uh, Hortum at some point and put yes. the ice that you get or maybe even a virus on the, on the central and then be purely no yeah. remote server. But, but but to be honest, like none of my ice does anything with a turbine on the, on the on the table. I need to. The only mm. thing that I can leverage here is the Stavka option, and and the, the fact that they don't have all breakers and they are loan credits. So I think there's yeah, there's still there's still um some fight over 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 the ice. Uh, but but, I, but what I'm seeing I'm seeing this like just an SMC and a similar trip away from a ton of credits on the runner side again <laughs> with MOML testing on the table. So. I, 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 I felt I felt but like I am I'm really close to the situation where my ice doesn't do anything anymore. Cons consider this. I think I think one thing to consider is the environmental testing is also might at some point be a liability if you manage to draw like next turn draw um above the law. Above the law and kill it, then yeah. they suddenly are not on and that much money. So so they really have to get the uh, the money off the environmental testing like this yeah. turn basically. Yeah, basically, but this is a shaper they with with a nuka token they might be able to <laughs> yeah true true and also yeah. he he's got he's got four credits like four credits is a lot to find stuff to install and mm -hmm. be yeah, for example so. just just hermes uh simul chip or something like that yeah exactly could, hermes simul chip smc all of those do the trick so he's drawing he's drawing some more He's installing ah. second environmental testing, <laughs> and I, that, that I gives you that gives you the option to shoot one of them. That's yes, that's pretty good. And unless unless they last click, oh no, they can't really. Or would they they could? Oh, no, that's just bad. Like uh, installing nope. uh, simul chip and then thrashing something to trigger one of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I remember him going like. I will put all my eggs in one basket or something like that and just go like, I, this is either fine or I will look really bad afterwards. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was fine. I didn't, yeah. I didn't get the opportunity it's... to shoot any of them. <laughs> it's only one draw that you get. What I'm wondering right now is if you, if there is a situation where you don't install this environmental testing to have the option of using this for, I guess, hush or imp. I guess imp. Yeah. To I ma think, make sure I that, think make sure that your sure. first one fires. I think there is for sure. Like uh the question becomes do you really do you really want to use your SMC uh, uh in response to install advance? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all that's also a very good question. <laughs> <way. laughs> like <laughs> it's advanced wiggle eyebrows. <laughs> just so, score an atlas. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, yeah. I was afraid of of ghosts here it's, it's probably it's probably better to just um just greet it here it's not like you're out 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 of the game if they shoot yeah. the environmental testing yeah because you have also the second one on the table already so it will pay out at some point i i i guess i guess but it was still an interesting interesting point and i mm -hmm. unfortunately didn't have any of the tools or like the one tool necessary to do this um yeah we look at this man tree draw. Yeah. I think... I think scoring the Atlas is just not good enough, especially since you lose your, your, your third Spin Doctor. Yeah. Exactly. So I would just start with Spin Doctoring. I think that's what I did, yes. Oh, well, that's nice. That's very nice. It's actually very, very nice. <laughs> uh, I, I think I, I think hedge, upgrading. Hedge, hedge fund Winchester on HQ and then get a, get a get a very good Atlas next turn with a yeah. token. I'm afraid that it didn't do this. Let me see. Why Ooh. did I put this? Why 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 are you not protecting HQ? What's happening? <laughs> I, 
I, I think I remembered that cataloger is a thing and kind what of afraid. <laughs> but because it's only a tributary on that, it is not doing anything to protect RMD really. But looking back at it, why? Like, I've got all the things in my hand. I can give away some points from RMD. This is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think I was playing around ghosts, not at this point. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. I think this is also like this is one point like I'm I'm not at all knowledgeable about new cards yet so mm-hmm. my gut instinct on their power level varies like from turn to turn <laughs> whether I I'm afraid of them or not kind of yeah. I probably should be also, afraid of burner at this point also shape um, if you think of, think of shaper you think of R and D pressure it's just the yeah the exactly thing, the thing of shaper but still. I think Burner, I, Burner is the card to be uh, exactly, afraid of here, like, and especially if they if they yeah. pull some points of only who cares, right? Yeah. Um, I I think like I I know that after the game I was looking back at the situation, like I or like it, about this situation, and was thinking that yeah, a single Burner just like stops me dead on my spot here. Um, oh. It will most likely like get rid of some of these tools. Maybe put some points on RD that they can get afterwards. So yeah, I think if this environmental testing pays out and the burner happens, I'm looking pretty bad. I here. mean I mean what is the best case scenario for you um when they hit the burner? Probably they hit Agenda uh, like the, the final three cards. Two eyes and the slash and burn or something. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Probably. Yeah. And that's still fine <laughs> for them. So Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is uh, this this should definitely be a Winchester on R- on HQ instead of the hammer on R and D. You could put the hammer on HQ if you want to, but I mean the Winchester belongs on yeah, HQ. Yeah, so. the, win- also- the Winchester. Yeah, but this definitely wasn't me being uh, like ooh shiny new toy, but this was me being afraid of the other shiny new toy in there. Yeah, head. I see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which yeah, we'll see. Um, Rana takes the daily cast money and fires off a trick shot. So they want to get what? rid of the spin doctor while running RD? Exactly. Oh. And I'm doing the maths here and actually resing the new fancy toy to make them. I was kind of happy with this exchange. Once again, it costs six credits, it's a ton of money. But so they pay five to get the breaker, right? And then they don't have enough. Exactly. Uh, but they do have enough because of the they, uh, because they trigger their um... the, the environmental testing. Like they definitely have yeah. enough money. But what I was thinking was, if I res this, they're firing the SMC to fetch the breaker that they don't need. <laughs> like at least to get into HQ and mm-hmm. maybe my remote if I put a barrier on there sometime. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like this buys me some time of them not being able to break barriers. And oh. I felt this was a fine result for six credits. Also, getting all of the trickshot money spent into a place that isn't game winning at this point felt mm-hmm. good to me. No. There is an there is an interesting question of whether you don't or like you you fetch the cleaver and let this fire, but I don't think you do. <laughs> Then you lose the turbine, right? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't think that you can you can lose the turbine. Yeah. There, there are two in the list, and there are simul chips and so on. So Arr, it's expensive. But, I, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I also I, th- I think they never used um they didn't use a simul chip yet, so I think they are probably fine uh on finding their barrier breaker last. Yeah. Yeah. Very likely. So, uh, yeah, what's happening is that Echelon gets installed, Emma gets broken. I am too poor to res this, which hurts a lot. I don't know if you are. Are you? Yeah. Also, it doesn't do that much right now because there's yeah, um... because it just costs the credit and moves somewhere else to cost the credit there. So yeah. Yeah. Um. What happens now is they get the multi access, which gets a hostile takeover. And then both of us realize that you actually get to double up on your bad pup oh. when you do <laughs> trick shots. Doesn't matter here, but just in general, it isn't 
fine and fun mechanic of getting a second bad pub credit here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm using the spin doctor to shuffle back a spin doctor. Oh yeah, and I went and for extract, the extract, yeah. which mm -hmm. I felt like this Hortum needs to be something on centrals maybe if I want to pull off the fast advance win. So this Hortum is doing nothing at this point. It costs a credit to break, which is a bad pop. So I'm mm -hmm. not sure that I ever build a scoring remote and do something with it at this point, unless I get off a stuff half rune thing. Also, so, you want? Uh, I think you want to have a three coster on the board for stuff uh, stuff yeah. half rune, and then exactly. you want to get rid of it to get a three coster. Exactly, exactly. So all of that made me think that I need more extracts in my life. So that's what <laughs> I went for. Yeah, uh, I like it. And and well, you need money. Money is always uh, like you, you already already saw. You probably would have rested tributary if if money wasn't yeah. a concern, and it's, it's, yeah. it, it is a concern. So yeah, for sure. Runner installed on a daily cast, takes a credit to get the lead draw. Lead fired quite a lot in this game. <laughs> this was, I think, the first click that Runner really took that wasn't doing anything useful. Uh, I think to get the draw. otherwise otherwise lead draws happen like semi-naturally, and then mm -hmm. if, if you can make it happen like that, that becomes really good. We draw an if. Oof. Ah, that's not that's obviously not, <laughs> not super nice. But I still think I'm scoring that. Yeah, I'm scoring that with the with the um um what's it called? Slash and burn. Slash and burn, yeah. Azak yeah. with slash and yeah. burn. I don't see any other line that you can do here. Like no. I think this is the thing that you need to do. Like sometimes you shoot like a symbol chip out of the hand. Uh, I don't know what even the first SDF did hit. I think one, yeah, one symbol chip I think was hit oh, by yeah. an SDF mm -hmm. or something like that. And the trick so, shot uh, probably. Like, the, there yeah, was a second yeah. Trick the, shot? the first, the, yeah. I think these two, these two yeah. cards, symbol chip and trick shot, were hit by the first SDF. So like. The, the meat damage can be surprisingly relevant. Yeah, if you, if you, if you for example hit hit a, hit a, another uh, similar chip here, they might not yeah. be able to get a get a barrier breaker, and that might be very very useful. Exactly, and I mean what what we will say here is, do you have a barrier breaker? Because I'm definitely installing a sandstone on archives. Um, unless you've got some other idea, like this is what I did. Mm. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I, I, My first thought was. Give give them the point out of archives and make make the eyes relevant on a, on another central. But I think I like I like like having them uh, making them have have the breaker to get the points out of archives. I was thinking putting it on R and D. It's also a lot of value out of the install. But I so think... I was and am still afraid of uh, cataloga. <laughs> so I felt that giving them points for free on archives makes an R and D run too strong. Although I can. Just install the sandstone R and D and have a similar result. Yeah, but I but I think it's yeah. both, both is fine. I actually okay. went for this line and hit the second turbine, turbine in SMC. Hmm. Not not really the card that you wanted to hit. SMC is fine, but they need one yeah. more MU to install it. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Although they like if you have SMC and then fetch your cleaver. You get the environmental testing money, and then you probably still have enough to get into servers that you need to. So, mm. yeah, it's better than um, than any other ir irrelevant card, yeah. for sure. The SMC does something uh, useful here for yeah. them. And yeah, we're now looking into an Atlas and Nordesti in hand. Disconnecting from the server. Cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're looking at Netless and Nodacity here, so like the win is in hand. This is yeah. You can even you can even rest the sensor on HQ and still have enough money to. I can even rest the sensor on HQ. Yeah, but um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> A lot of daily casts fire. There is still nine credits waiting on this environmental testing, so the runner is really swimming in money. Mm -hmm. okay. but, but what the runner are... is lacking is tools. <laughs> They're digging. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's the cleaver. There is the cleaver. What are, what are they going for? Are they going? Oh yeah, it's going for HQ. Makes sense. Yeah, going for HQ. Uh, 
I was actually thinking about, do I res this? It has no impact on the game. <laughs> there is a bad pub, so like I would res it. I wouldn't res it. I decided to go like, huh, nah, and rather quickly <laughs> go for the no. To like make them think that there is nothing. Like we are on voice call here, so yeah. the, the the mental aspect plays a role. So yeah. I was like, ah, nah, and let them in. <laughs> yeah. Hoping that it sounds like I don't have anything in hand. He sees the audacity. So kind of the best card that he could hit for me here. Because I this... mean, if they see the eyes, I think it's better for you if they see the eyes. It is, but audacity, at least this is what, I, what I'm thinking what happened here. Audacity and my reaction planted the idea in the head of there's nothing in HQ. But drawing into an Atlas wins me the game here. Ah, I see, I see. So you, you want them to uh, get the R&D lock up so they run R&D and then you have to exactly. win out of HQ. And this is exactly what happens. I see, um, I see. I was like, if they see the Audacity and they have the burner, they just fire the burner and then get rid of some of yeah. the tools and then you probably lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but I, I, I think I was extremely lucky here. So you can... Uh, can we? Yeah, we can look at the hand. Uh, I guess this Hermes got into the hand pretty late and didn't do much. No. Uh, other than that, there's nothing relevant in the hand here. So I yeah. think I think there are a lot of ways this game goes where I lose this pretty decisively. Yeah. But, <laughs> I mean, so I'm, I'm still really happy with how it played out. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you played played it quite well. The 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 one thing I didn't like is like putting the eyes on R and D. Um, yeah, like the the yeah. hammer. I think that didn't yeah. do much for you. I, I agree. Like a Winchester, I guess a Winchester here that also doesn't do much. But yeah, still. I think I think it didn't matter in the end. Yeah, but still, but there as, are a lot as, more as we cases saw, where it matters. Yeah. yeah, as we saw, the game was in HQ most of the time, and uh, yeah. then protecting HQ makes a lot more sense. Yeah. And, Although, and, like, and, and the, and the placement a... the placement of the virus I think was also not the best. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. Uh, well, I, I to the Mar to my virus I didn't even realize going back to the game that <laughs> I even had options there. It, it just like wasn't the thing that I'm thinking about. It seems in those mm -hmm. kind of situations because it just pulls around through remote, so it has to be good. Yeah, I see. <laughs> but... I see. I mean, it could have been, like, it would have led to a totally different game. And it's, I think it's not clear if it would have been better because you drained 10 credits from them. But on, on the other yeah. hand, it made them install the bus saw and that made the tributary worse. And it's, it's, it's kind of interesting to see. On, also, you, you were forced to score the hostile early, which you maybe wouldn't have yeah. been if you got, got yeah. the regulars and stuff. It would, have, it would have changed a lot of the game and it wouldn't be easy to tell if it made your game better or worse and their game better or worse. It's, it's very, very hard to tell. <laughs> yeah. But... But it's interesting to case. think about these situations that you that you don't, where you don't realize that you have a choice, and yeah. then think, okay, I did in effect had a had a choice, and yes. and, and, and the next time you, you come up, then you then you then you uh, then you're thinking about it, uh, yeah. and not and not only like thinking, okay, this this is what I'm I'm doing, and just just autopiloting it. So yeah, there's I, some, I, some some learning to be had in that in these kinds of situations. Which I, I think really that like. that I I would even say that's the biggest way of progressing in the game, mm -hmm. if either you yourself find something where you go like huh i could do this differently or more likely somebody else tells you why aren't you <laughs> doing x in this situation like yeah. like what we're doing here right now i think like even this is a learning experience for both of us oftentimes because mm -hmm. we are exchanging ideas about what options there even are in certain situations yeah. like even if we say that like, I wouldn't do this and that because there are that that is bad. It's still like another option that you now have in your mind, and that there might be times where the bad option becomes good because of circumstances, because yeah. the runner is missing a breaker, or you have shot a breaker with an SDF, which is happening very rarely. But when it happens, you need to be able to exploit it. And so, like having more lines that you can evaluate in your arsenal <laughs> um, helps you being able to just find those spots where you can just go like, huh, this is a very special special spot where I can do this to get an advantage. For sure, for sure. Um, and, and I really enjoy it because of that, because it opens your mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, definitely. Just, um, uh, and also what I wanted to say is um, you don't 
if, if you have more options, like like with the virus play, put it on R and D or on the remote. It doesn't yeah. mean that you don't don't put it in the remote because I said I would do differently. But it could still be like you, you see the other option, but you still decide to do this because you you value that they have to go through the remote, and it's still fine, right? Um, yeah. That's that's the interesting part. You, you don't have to like listen to somebody else and say, okay, they they know the truth, <laughs> but but you now have have two two two, uh, two options that you can evaluate, and that's that's just yeah. a nice thing about it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Is all right. Is let's, very, let's finish this game. Yeah, I already yes. see. <laughs> we are uh, bla blabbering about how nice it is to to get better at the game while while this game is obviously finished. <laughs> you are definitely and... outlast it, and then. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very uh, very interesting to that the, that you already saw how this game could play out from when you scored the hostile takeover. Yes, like yeah. you saw my my remote isn't doing anything anymore. So and I also oh, have the audacity and the um uh, the next agenda. So yeah. I, I'm I'm very likely to be on five points, maybe even at five points with an atlas token, and then. Uh, the fast advance uh, win isn't isn't that far off, far away. Although I was not happy seeing it from that far back because mm -hmm. I also knew that there are little other options for me to win this game. Like turbine and this kind of rig makes your eyes very transparent. So if they get set up, you kind of only have Stavka and Hafrun left to threaten something, and that needs to be on the board. You need to I draw the correct cards, and they need actually run the correct server for you to get to fire it off and stuff like that so it it it, it can be difficult to do to have any room to maneuver left at a certain spot in this game so uh when i saw like back when i when i when i scored the thing uh wherever it was no this is way too far <laughs> uh yeah here end of end of turn five like when i when i saw here that I need to score this hostile. Mm -hmm. It was also kind of clear that I need to win this game by fast advancing twice. Um, yeah. And that's not a good spot to be in as op. You want to be, have your eyes be more relevant for longer in the game. I think that depends. And uh, what what I th uh, also during the game, what I thought was Hollow Man gives you something that calibration test oh, yeah. doesn't give you there because, um, I mean, it's, it's kind of similar. You can also... Um, like use border control to get Hollow Man, which is very interesting because you can uh, calibration uh, like use border control, get the virus in your turn, yeah. virus for the Hollow Man. So yeah. uh, you still have this this option to fast advance like that. And um, the 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 great thing about Hollow Man being two cost is that virus can be uh, used at any point. Like you don't have yes. the runner to ha uh, have the runner. Um, run into your border control or make your rest your border control. I have a rest border control on the table at the, in the first place to be able to yeah. use it, but you can do it whenever you want. So you have more fast advance options now than you had That's before. True. And um, yeah. you also still, you have, have a spin doctor left that you can use to shuffle back audacities. You have more um, slash and burn agriculture. Um, yeah. So I think there's a lot of things that can go right for you. And if you, if you see it, if you can get an, a hostile token, you only need basically the agenda, I would say, because your fast yeah. advance tool will come at some point. But the, the agenda is the ma the main point, and so I, exactly. I think I like I like it, uh, even though it's not the main plan of the deck. Like usually, yeah. you really like to have this remote because you can then use Tokana and you can put all this nice stuff in there. You can use your water controls much more efficiently. But still, the fast advance plan is still a very potent one and a very like you can um, execute it on, on, on very different with different cards. And it's not like I need this one card and I need them to not uh, have me R and D logged. There's still a lot of options that you can you can do with the uh, with the with this plan, especially with Orb, because let's say they have cataloger online and they can basically R and D log you. You have a lot of stuff that can shuffle your deck with Orb, right? So yeah. Yeah. Um, there's um, there's way more that you can do against the usual stuff that people do against the fast advance plan yeah, than um, sure. maybe a deck like Titan back in the day or Correct, yeah. could do. Yeah, And also maybe an observation here that has stayed true for quite a while for me. Uh, the first tournament after a new set, people start cutting clot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I i've seen this like back in startup when things changed i tended to bring like fast advance for the first tournament and 
see no clot on the other side because typically the, the shapers try to experiment and those yeah. two influence are really interesting to put into something else yeah. and also <laughs> and also you don't want to 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 play a um attack card if it turns out that there's no fast advance deck in the in the in the meta game because you don't exactly. know there's new cards maybe maybe people uh, opt out of out of fast advance strategies so i think that's exactly. also also a big deal the silver bullets only come into the decks uh, when the meta games establishes a bit, right? Yeah. So I think that's but that, that on can... the other hand means that there is definitely like a, a spot a slot of like two or three weeks after a new set where fast advance is much more stronger than it is probably for the rest of the meta when shapers find their clot again and probably Hoshiko does as well. Um, you could, but you could argue for all t- types of decks that get hosed by by silver bullets. For example, if you have oh, like yeah, some sure. kind of kill deck that that might be. Uh, get host by some kind of special card. Dep- also depends on what cards are meta that are also, like, incidentally good against kill decks. For example, uh, like we saw here, the... Um, um, the stone ship. The stone ship, Oops. exactly. Or, or the... Um, what's it called again? The the me damage. I've had, I've had the new I've had worse. I always forget yeah. the card. Steel skin scarring. Yeah. Uh, skin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so if they, these cards are played, pro- probably damage decks are... Are less of an option, but I think it's it still holds the point that you that in in the early uh, state of a meta game decks that usually are bad against certain kinds of silver bullets are better in the beginning of the meta game because yeah obviously nobody nobody really takes text for some specific deck because nobody knows what the meta game looks like and for this specific tournament it goes even one step further because since you are playing each cop faction once and fast advance typically gets played out of Wayland. You you have only a one in four chance to begin with to actually face fast advance, so it might simply be that uh, you can also just cut clot because you say and seventy five percent of games I don't need the clot, so I no. might just want to play like a more run like a more balanced uh, deck instead that is able to adapt to all sorts of things. So yeah, I think all of that made my way forward in this game way easier than it might have otherwise been because like mm. i think if the runner has clot here they can lean back much more and uh yeah get into a situation where i don't have any lines forward other than probably stuff car yeah I, I i think you are you are uh, uh obviously right because it's it, it makes it easier for the corp side but if you if you look closer on the runner side it would have been very hard for them to find really the the time for the clot, right? Because that is true. they that didn't is true. really have have the the MU for an SMC to threaten the clot, and they didn't have the the, the, the symbol chip, so maybe it wouldn't e- have even mattered. But from the corpse perspective, it's always nice to know that there is no clot, <laughs> because yeah. the, the situation might change. They might install the Hermes and then have have, have a slot for the for the clot, and then you suddenly you're like, ah, I have to find my, my virus, and everything gets harder, and you give them more turns and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So. Uh, I can I can totally see where you're coming from. All right. All right. I think that's a good closing words for uh, this particular episode. So yeah. once again, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe and comment and do all the things. Uh, and if also... you like if you like the video, I like the video. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and as, as always, hack the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and get in the car. <laughs> <laughs>